So I'm gonna to touch on the full arch workflow here. So as you can see here on this demo order, we have a 12 unit, uh, single units upper arch. Just gonna do a quick 3D preview so you can see what we're working with here. Pretty nice preps, you know. Um, from there, you simply just upload that. Again, as long as that option is selected inside of Automate, we're gonna select our, our turnaround time. And then once that case is ready, inside of Automate, you can hit review. This is gonna give you all the different screenshots related to your margins, your contacts, your occlusion, give you a really good idea of where everything is looking. If you're happy with how everything looks and it looks as though you know you can make some minor adjustments to these posteriors, simply hit accept for editing. Then you'll go back to your dental system and you can download this You can see the application status change to ready for download. You'll bring that back in. So once you hit redesign, another thing I recommend, always choose redesign, not auto redesign. Sometimes it can kind of throw things off a little bit. So you will have to walk through your margin lines just to confirm everything. That's just part of the process during this redesign phase. But you can see here, we've got a nice, um, our, our nice maintained posterior units. And then it brought in our proposal for our anteriors. So what you do is just basically Treat this as if you're designing it in-house, make those adjustments to your anteriors. You know, any, any slight changes you need to make, you know, closing up some, some of the black triangles, maybe adjusting your incisal edges a little bit. I really like to um, show this because it, it gives, you know, a lot of users the ability to really customize their anterior design internally versus and, and still maintain those posterior units. So. Um, one thing I wanted to kind of touch on too is I did a little test with some of our designers on this just to see what, what kind of time savings they had um, using this workflow. And in general, we are seeing about half the design time just because you already have that, you know, maintained posterior anatomy to, to work against. So it's a really nice way to get through these bigger cases where the single units may be something that you just want to, you know, push out for the posteriors and then focus a little bit more on the detail on the anterior. 